Hello everyone, I'm just going to jump right in here. Um, just going to show you the figures really. Okay, voltage of the voltage coming out of the coil, 5.68 volts. There is a incandescent globe here, glowing. So the coil is driving, so we have a load. Um, we have roughly around about a 220 milliamp load at 5.68 volts. RPM. We're upside down. 4,017. Okay. Switching now to a lower load. Virtually a short circuit with a 6 ohm resistor. The load now is about 300 milliamps. RPM has risen slightly to 4,024 RPM at 1.864 volts. Check that. 1.86 volts, 600, 300 milliamps. So the motor at the moment is drawing 300 milliamps through a resistor. Now it's drawing the now it's drawing 200 milliamps through that resistor and in series with the globe. As you can see, which is now illuminated. As it illuminated, you should have seen the voltage on the multimeter jump back to 5.6 volts as we release the load. And RPM has dropped slightly to 4017. 4018. I hope you can see that. And it's upside down. Sorry about that. Well, I've got the um, taco tape on the wheel that's on top. I'll describe the coil. Uh, this is not actually about, I've come to the conclusion this is not really about the, the type of coil. This is about the core and the magnet. Something to do with the ratio of the magnet the coil and the RPM and the distance the magnet is from the rotor. I've removed the two magnets either side of the core um, to, to do a test without that. Okay, um, I'll go open circuit and watch the voltage on the multimeter climbing to no load at all. Of course, that says the capacitor charges up. As you can see here, the coil is connected to a bridge rectifier and we're looking at the DC voltage slowly climbing as the cap, char cap charges up. We now look at the RPM. completely open circuit 406 And a dead short circuit across the coil. No voltage at all. Four thousand and thirty-five RPM. So there's some inconsistencies there with regards to lens law. Well, the next demonstration I'll do a bit later on is with the magnets in place.